Welcome to the Keep Calm and Jingle On Christmas Planning Challenge. This challenge is centered around the 12 days of Christmas and Epiphany. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Ann, Christmas coach and founder of Christmas Organizing, and I will be your guide to planning your Christmas, and I'm so excited that you're on this adventure with me. 12 days of Christmas, when is it? Did you know that the 12 days of Christmas actually are not before Christmas, as many people believe? The Christmas season actually starts, not ends on December 25th. That's right. Christmas Day is the first day of Christmas and lasts for 12 days, ending on the 12th night celebration, followed by Epiphany on January 6th. But depending on when you start a day, at sundown or at midnight, will determine if the 12th day of Christmas is on January 5th or January 6th. Unfortunately, I have yet to find a definitive answer, and so there is no general consensus as to what the answer is. So if you want to know for sure what your denomination follows, ask your minister and get a true answer for your, for your, for your celebration time. So 12 days of Christmas, let's talk about ways to celebrate it. If you accept the challenge to celebrate the entire Christmas season, this opens up 12 more days to celebrate and help the season go from stressed to blessed. Wouldn't it be wonderful to enjoy the Christmas season and not pack it all away on December 26? How can you celebrate? Well, you can have a day, a day of Christmas party. So like the sixth day of Christmas party. Um, and then just pick out a day and do that. It's a great way to have a get together after the Christmas rush. Another way is to exchange small gifts each day at dinner or a set time, or just leave them out for each person. Um, consider sending your cards, your Christmas cards, on December 24th. I now understand why a TV show that I watched back in the 90s, the lady sent her cards out on the 24th. They would arrive during the Christmas season. Another thing to do for those who are not in your household you could do a 12 days of Christmas box with 12 small wrapped gifts inside, or you could even put it into a stocking to do that, to do that. Um, in, the, in the Christmas Planning 101 book, which is what we are using to do our, our first set of planning. And remember, this is a brain dump um, a way to get it out of our head and onto paper so we can expand it later on when we're working on the planner. Um, but there is a page dedicated to the 12 days of Christmas with space to write out any activities that you want to do on those days. Now, Epiphany. Epiphany is also known as Three Kings Day, and it's on January 6th. And in many cultures, this is the day that Christmas, this is the day during Christmas that gifts are exchanged, as well as it represents the day that the three wise men brought gifts to baby Jesus. You can do the same and exchange gifts um, with each other on that day. You can have a party. You can do taking down your decorations. Um, there is a list, a page, there's pages in the Christmas Planning 101 book um, for Epiphany, just like we had for um, Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. And so you can fill those out, refer back to that video to get the details on how to do those. So now I want to talk a little bit about some different ways to celebrate. So there are some families that exchange three gifts, representing a gift from each wise man to baby Jesus. Um, and I, as I talked about earlier, do a 12 days of Christmas gift box or a stocking. Um, you can make a box a little bigger to include the three gifts inside. So if you want to do a gift for each day, which of course, you know, Christmas day is day one. You probably already did some gifts. So you could do day two through day 12. And then for Epiphany, have three um, three gifts that maybe have a little bit more meaning to them that they open up. Um, three Kings Day or Epiphany would also be a great day to have a party. And include a king cake. That's right, a king cake. Last year, a member mentioned this and I was so confused because I just thought king cakes were for Mardi Gras. What did I know? Um, so I had to do some research and I found out that it's a tradition on Epiphany or Three Kings Day. 
And it's one I'm going to be incorporating into my celebrations this year. But it has to be a different flavor from the recipes I've found um, because my daughter-in-law is allergic to cinnamon and it, it has cinnamon in it. Um, I'm going to be excited to plan out Epiphany this year to include the king cake. And remember, if you do do a king cake, one of the things is, is that there is a baby, a little plastic baby baked into the cake. And the person who gets that traditionally will receive a gift. So whoever gets that slice with the baby in it um, will get that gift. So make sure you have that on hand. So after you celebrate with your king cake, how about have a take down the decorations party? Um, this is the true end of the Christmas season. And it's time to put the decorations away. And doing this as a family can become a memorable tradition. So when you stop and think about Advent calendars, which you see the picture here, uh, this is similar to what I had growing up in Germany. You remember that Advent is a time for preparation for Christmas. And it ends on Christmas Eve. I always loved having this calendar filled with chocolates to count down to Christmas Day. I still buy them to this day, but now I understand more clearly the connection. Advent leads me to the Christmas season. The 12 days of Christmas lead me to Epiphany. All right. So here's your challenge for this, for this challenge. Um, I want you to fill in any activities that you want to do during the 12 days of Christmas. Write that out. Say, you know, on the sixth day of Christmas or the fifth day of Christmas, whatever, and write out any activities or anything that you want to do. And then create an overview and a to-do list for Epiphany, just like we did um, back in the um, Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. All right, everybody have a great day. And remember, hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. If you are, hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment. I would love to hear about what type of events that you do for 12 days of Christmas and or Epiphany. So everybody till, till later, keep calm and jingle on.